day I'm cooking leftovers. Chick leftover chicken. So I won't throw it away. I'm gonna throw nothing away. Leftover chicken. Fettuccine. Mushroom Alfredo sauce. Fried diced roasted fire roasted tomatoes. Your bag of shrimp. Hi, hi. Oh, this camera makes it look so fat. I'm not that fat. So, a bowl of water. I'm to separate the chicken and wash my hands already. I'm tired, y'all. I work 12 hours now. Whew. Feels like I work 12 hours. I've been up at 5 o'clock this morning. I'm tired. So I'm going to cut the chicken. I know how I do. I need to show my face all the time. But this is rotisserie chicken from last night's dinner. So I'm cutting it up. Make some shrimp and chicken alfredo. Get a teeny or whatever. I hope everybody's had a nice Thursday afternoon. It's hot as hell out there. I'm in North Carolina. If you're just now joining me. Hi there. Hi there. Chicken. <laughs> right? Like I've never seen people cut chicken before. I want to know if anybody's read any of my books online. If you haven't, go check out Amazon.com author. A U T H O R. Aperay.com. Check out my new book. I'm just um, released a new book called Chances. Where? Exciting book. It's a suspense thriller, a little drama in there. JoJo's from the south side of Chicago and he meets, falls in love with a lady he grew up. He never trusted anybody. He grew up on the hard side. And they have an encounter, and I don't want to give away the rest of the story, but it's explosive. Check it out. It's only 99 cents, and it's free for Kindle Unlimited subscribers. Oh, my God. This camera is making my arms look so fat. I don't like that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I know, I need to stop doing everything with my hands. I really do. If you're just joining me, I'm waiting for the water to boil. You gotta detail these shrimps. Shrimps. You know what? I wish I could afford a maid. I come home from work. I don't feel like cooking sometimes, but I can't afford to eat out all the time. It's not healthy. So when I first get home, I don't sit down, wash my hands, and start cooking. Hi, 
do have to make my exercise video though. One day I'm gonna come on live and make an exercise video. Just because you're 50 doesn't mean you can't look good and work out. I'll never let that your age stop you from doing anything. Like One day I might even come online to do a live and read one of my books for y'all. They like that. Dramatize my characters since I know them best. If you would like to do that, let me know. Leave me in the comment section which book you want me to read from Facebook Live out of my collection on um, Amazon.com. Why does water take so long to boil? Good gracious. You should have cut it on. Leftover chicken from last night, rotisserie chicken, like I said, and I'll make dinner. And I hope my Facebook friends realize that my page is not a dating site. I am an author of suspense fiction books, and I take my work very seriously. And I'm a married woman. So if you join my page to hopefully date me or something like that, you're wasting your time because I'm happily married. I just had to throw it out there because I knew people, new men think that I'm single and I'm not. But we can still be friends. As long as you respect my marriage, it's fine. I throw that out there. That's how I am. So far, I got that much chicken. I don't know if it's a bit too much. I don't know. We're about to find out now. Ooh, look at that. He's dead, y'all. I ate him. I'm a real woman. I don't fake the funk. I'm not trying to be all neat and pretty and proper. I'm cooking. Okay, look at that. Oh my God. I like the back of the chicken for some reason. I don't know why. Probably not. Mess. I'm so tired. I don't even know why I'm cooking. Uh oh, fire detection went off. Hey, I'm burning up nothing. Good lord. I'll tell you, a little heat in the thing goes off. You turn the fan on, huh? I am still, I still haven't gotten over the fact that we've lost so many people in that Las Vegas shooting. My prayers go out to the family and survivors. And it's just a, hard, a horrific tragedy that such things happen without reason. And the media keeps drilling and drilling it like the survivors and the families of the survivors. They've had enough of it, I think. But I do understand the reason for broadcasting so much. I do understand. But 
I just hope and pray that this doesn't happen again. I, it has not deterred me from going to Las Vegas. I love Las Vegas. I've been there plenty of times. And crazy, one crazy person doesn't stop the show. We have to keep on living. We can't be scared. So pray up all the time. Just pray up. Never stop praying, people. And like you know, life is short. Make sure you tell people that you love them every day, that nobody can find it. Know when we might not see them again, unfortunately, in this world. Let's put it back on the food. How about that? Okay. What is not going out? Yeah, I am not this big. This camera makes me look so big. I'm not this big. Good gracious. Water it's almost boiled.
It's so pretty. It's so pink and pretty. Wait a minute. I'm bored, so I'm going to read y'all the first page of my new book called Chances. Leave a comment and tell me what you think. Go down and find it.
It's already out on Amazon. It's only 99 cents. Chapter 1, Buckets and Brains. Saturday night on August 21st, 1999, the neighborhood block party keeps me awake all night as loud music echoed off my apartment building in the center of it all. Any other time, I would have missed I wouldn't have missed the chance to shake a leg, but I'm getting older. My body needed more rest than usual. Even trying to sleep inside the bathtub didn't drown out the noise below. I laughed walking towards my bedroom, feeling playful before retrieving a box of God gifts from underneath the bed. I was still a kid at heart, pulling out five jumbo smoke bombs, mumbling, nah, those folks below, they gotta go home. It's a shame a grown-ass man had to toss smoke bombs out his eighth floor window just to get a few weeks of sleep. I quick, quickly realized I'd thrown one too many colorful bombs identifying where they might have fallen from as I seen the crowd pointing things up my way. So I rushed slipping on a pair of black jeans and pulled on a black t-shirt headed down the stairwell to join the fast-moving crowds. Besides, I knew in the city of Chicago, Illinois, smoke bombs want no immediate cause for concern by the police, especially on the south side. Living here is like living in a foreign country. No one in the United States gives us thought. The rich and famous live like kings and queens off the backs of hardworking folks. Fuck them. Meanwhile, the city's air smelled of nearby steel mills, but this is the only place I've ever, ever lived or visited so I complain. I only needed to stroll around my block a few times making sure the coast was clear before headed back to my place. When my feet turned to the corner, I hear some men arguing inside an alley. Wait, man, we can we can talk this we can talk about this. I didn't know she was married. Butch stop it. You attended our wedding reception along with one of my classmates. Did you think I'll forget your face, you liar? There was a mess about to go down. I went to the front row seat. I hid behind a few tall tin trash cans witnessing the show, the showdown of two older gentlemen not from around this area. I swear these rich people were always dumping their trash in my backyard. Where's Sheila? She texts me to meet her here. Don't hurt her. This, this is on me, shouted the wife's lover. The husband didn't waste time with payments. He acted out of hurt and jealousy. In a split second, the dude begins to withdraw the husband's gun, forcing the lover of his cheating wife to protect himself with a pocket knife. Their fear smelled up the alley as they danced around each other, threatening taunt to death, showed neither knew how to fight as people calmly walked around the alley. I, had my, I held my breath, waiting to see who would walk away. An hour later, on the corner of 6th and 5th Avenue, a homeless man returned to his claimed spot inside the alley where he discovered a dead body. At that moment, a squad car spotted him in, in the street screaming murder. Police officers spoke with the seemingly upset man complaining about his cardboard boxes were covered in human blood. Officers respond, arriving at the scene horrified, barely able to keep their eyes on the victim. Officers called the police station requesting an ambulance and a coroner's vehicle and a crime unit to aid the sprawled out body of a male victim believed to be in his late 30s, shot to death in the back of an alley. The Chicago Tribune printed such a story on the front page. It seems reporters allied with our local police department manifesting the use of old tactics from 1960s that might have shaken the streets way back then, but these days lips were paid to shut. Although I stole $300 from the deceased man's wallet after the skull was blown in the smithereens over a love affair which ended with the wife's lover dead in the alley, He'd taken too many chances sneaking around town with someone else's bride. A wise man once said, a man is born a boy and will die a bitch if he lay between the bust of another man's woman. Well, how come I'm still alive and ain't no bitch, I thought, pondering about my life? First off, let me warn you. I don't claim to be much of a writer, but my story may help lead another young man on a different trail than the one my pops dragged me down. Hell, I'm keeping it real. My nickname was JoJo, short for Joseph Jones, 22, every bit of six feet tall, skin smooth like butter. The woman described my complexion as chocolate brown. My walk was wise, always observing my surroundings. Dressing shop was a thing, though never a suit and tie guy. 
It was no shock that all of the local clubs became a side home. My voice was deep, so people had no excuse for not hearing me the first time. Small talk, which were punks and drunks. My choice of words always led to the point. Pop raised me after Mama died at the young age of 29, and a parent heart attack claimed her soul. I always believed Mama died of a broken heart from years of holding a pain inside while trying to raise me with her pops in our home. He turned out to be some pops, all right. These streets, he's up in these streets releasing seed up in all his side chicks. Even though his baby's mamas weren't copacetic with the fact of sharing a man, his siblings looked out for each other. We didn't take no crap. And all pops had 10 boys and three girls roaming his earth. But he couldn't smell, spell, not one of their names. Lately, I've dodged risky moves in these streets, doing my own thing, not really hurting nobody. Shit, I wish somebody would take this pain away. It hurts, Mrs. Mama, knowing we buried her down the street in St. John's Cemetery. Waking up this morning, nothing felt right as my gut nagged at my soul. The only comfort was visiting Mama. But when I arrived empty-handed at the cemetery, the instinct to snatch the fresh flowers off the graveside stone beside her seemed right. I knew that a small cemented gravestone doubled from the dirt, searching for the words as if she could hear me. Hey, Mama, here you go. Some flowers. Here, Mama, you got, I got you some flowers. The tears flowed free, freely, realizing she could never hug me. Mama, I mean no respect for turning out to be like a little like Pops, but you know how it goes in these streets. Right then, I stood. Okay, that's all. If you want to read more, go to Amazon.com. Enjoy your copy for 99 cents. If you have Kindle Unlimited, it's free. I hope you enjoyed my little story. And thank you for listening. It's hot in this kitchen. Woo! Okay. Let me put this in. Let's get back to the cooking, shall we? If you get the chance to sit up in I hope you can. Ah, I'm breaking up. It hurts. Oh, damn it. Oh, it's a pretty look. It's like slack, not like spaghetti. That smoke won't go off one more time. I'm going to take the batteries off, but I can't do that. I'm going to do anything. Cook it for ten to 
That's a lot of chicken. I think that's a lot of chicken. It's rotisserie leftover chicken. I didn't want to throw, throw it out, so it was just draining. I'm cooking. Rotisserie chicken leftover from last night with some shrimp. I already cooked shrimp. D vein. I took the tail off. When I'm done, I'm add some Alfredo mushroom sauce in a can. That's how I do in North Carolina. I'm so silly. I'm so tired. I just got off work. I'm telling you, people. I know everybody just got off work. Damn, I wish I would stop by the damn Bojangles or something. My head is killing me. Oh. I would do anything for you, and I want to. If y'all haven't noticed, I'm shy. That's why I don't show my face a lot when I'm talking because I'm very shy. So I can talk to you better if you don't see my face for some reason. I don't know why. And I'm not this freaking fat. Camera makes me look fat. When I come home, I wash my hands, I come to the kitchen, and I cook. I do not turn the radio on. I do not turn the TV on because there's so much negativity on there. I just need to wind down when working. 
that's why you don't hear any music when I play my videos. But when I do my dance video, my exercise video, I'll play some music. That alarm goes off one more time. I'm telling you, I, I just don't know. Trying to cook everything before my husband gets home, you people. He likes it when I count them. I'm so hungry. You know what? I'm kind of mad. I went to Virginia Beach and brought my mom this right here. And I scared her. So she gave it back to me. Isn't that the cutest thing you ever seen? Look at that. It's a, it's a, it's a um, refrigerator magnet. I went to four stores looking for a frog. It's so cute. Look at the shape. And she was like, get that out of me. Get that out of my house. She called it possessed. It's not possessed. It's just shit. I won't do anything for you. I don't want to. Oh my God. Sometimes I don't know why I keep my pictures on the refrigerator. But every now and then I like to look back. Look at that. How cute I was. How cute. I was probably 24. And that picture was taken, and that's my daughter right over here, Sharini. I miss her so much. I gotta get her to have a visit. She's 30. I was, oh God, I can't believe I showed that picture to y'all. I'm so sorry if I hurt anybody's eyes from that picture. Not this kind of camera puts a lot of weight on you. Okay, my food is almost done, people. I clean up this mess. I made a mess while I'm cooking your dinner. I made a mess while I'm cooking your dinner. I made y'all, but I ain't got that big money. I ain't got that big money. I ain't got that big money. To admit something though. I fell in love with Cardi B. Not because of the new song that she has, but Cardi Yellow or Budak Yellow or whatever. It's because I watched her on an interview and she was so real and so sweet. And she manipulated her music to get a lot of people talking about it and beaten to it because her song has what all of us think. If I see you and I walk past you, if I, if I speak, if I see you and I speak, or whatever, if I see you and I don't speak, that means I don't ask with you. That's how we all feel, but we don't say it. And she put it in a song, and her accent is just, it's just awesome. So in the way this world is, I know there's a lot more you know, decent songs that could be the number one, but you, you have to realize the type of world we live in. 
Y'all see my cats back there acting silly? Please, Lord, I don't I hope they don't fight on camera. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. But you know what would be real dope? If somebody answered her with another song, if I was to do it, it would be corny as I don't know what. I would be like, Cardi B, I don't need to fuck with you, bitch. I don't need to make money move, bitch. When your song falls from number one, you're going to be in the club stripping again. Clap, 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 clap. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm telling you. Y'all forgive me. Y'all know how people do people in one hit songs. But I think Cardi B is going to be around for a while. If not, I want to see her acting. I want to see her modeling. I want to see her with her own business. I just want to see her do great things. She is a beautiful child with a beautiful soul. Have I downloaded her music? No, I don't need to. I have. I can watch it on YouTube. But I'm going to have to download it, though. So I can keep her in those red bottoms. These are blood shoes. Oh, my God. Would you really kill somebody for some damn red bottoms? Hell no. I wouldn't anyway. Y'all believe if you throw spaghetti, or I know it's not spaghetti, but it's pasta, if you throw it up against the wall and it sticks, it, wait a minute, if you throw it up against the wall and it doesn't stick, it's done. I'm going to try it. Oh. Ah. 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 Let me see if it's done. I'm going to throw it up against the wall. Y'all going to watch this. Watch. Let's see if it's done. If it sticks, wait a minute, hold on, I'm going to burn myself. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm gonna talk against the wall, see if it's done. I didn't stick, it must be done. <laughs> that was funny. I should be a comedian. I'm sure I'm more funny than Kevin Hart. He is not funny, I'm sorry. Every movie, y'all know Kevin Hart has the same range of acting. He's cute, but he's not funny to me. Sorry. You know who's funny to me? Steve Harvey. He's funny. Oh, I should cuss and say Steve Harvey's name. That's what you're cussing. Sorry, Steve Harvey. But you are funny. And what makes Steve Harvey funny is that he's been around since I was a little girl on um, Apollo, and he's doing a lot of things to help the black community, and he has a soul to what he does. He don't, he doesn't, he's not out here making money without a purpose. And when he leaves this earth, everybody will be sad 
I know I will. He is so funny, especially on Family Feud. But um, I want to see Steve Harvey in movies. I like he can write. I want to see him back in the movies. If I could talk to him and tell him to come back to the movies, yeah, I want to talk to him. He's an intelligent black man. And the world needs more of him. And we have a lot of intelligent black men. Oh, and has anybody seen Holly Berry's movie, Kidnap? It was good. It was real good. She carried the whole movie. That woman can act. If you haven't seen it or get the video, it is awesome. It's, I mean, it's a family night. If you've got a date or you just want to watch TV, it's a clean movie. I mean, she did excellent in that movie. Thumbs up, Holly Berry. And the people that support her in the acting, they did really good too. But Holly really carried that movie. She was aggressive. Her child was kidnapped. And she went after them. She did not stop pursuing them during the whole movie. But it's the way she did it is very intelligent. And it's just good acting. And I'm, I'm upset because her movie didn't get enough publicity before it came out. I mean, that's ridiculous. They started advertising about her movie really good the night of her movie. That was a ticket well spent. Thank you, Holly Berry. Now, let me stop running my mouth. I'm over here. Let me take y'all with me. Hey, like your doctors, and he put this on. Oh my God, it's been longer than 10, 12 minutes. Oh well.
there I use Like I said, the shrimp is already cooked, the chicken is already cooked. So when my husband comes home from a hard day's work, it is beautiful, entertaining. What? He can enjoy a meal. And my booty. <laughs> and a little bit of entertainment that y'all won't see, of course. But don't they look good? Get it right in there. I don't add salt to my food. I just don't do it because the can of um, tomatoes, I wish I had some cheese though. That would be nice. The can of tomatoes already has salt in it. That's why I do the can fairly fresh so my husband can taste some salt. But over the years, being with me, he's learned to not uh, use salt. But every now and then I have to use seasoning salt. Keep my husband please. Oh my god, that looks so good. Y'all know y'all want some. You can't have no. I'm getting North Carolina I need some. Probably charge you for the plate though. That looks so good. You see that? How easy that was? Uh, if you have leftover chicken or you can go out and get some chicken strips, strips, chicken strips and a bag of cooked shrimp and just throw it in there and get you some fettuccine, some alfredo sauce and you got a meal. It's, I don't eat a lot of bread but my husband he would like garlic bread but I didn't like going to the store. So I give him a kiss and forget about the garlic bread. So smell just as good as it looks. You know, put it back on the stove, let everything simmer, and I will talk to you later. Go out, check out my book, review, tell me what you think. Love you all.